Yo, I know what the real name is Kid Hancock, man. We back at it again with another reaction. And today we got, um, we got two people out here. They about to get it on in the car, man. What? And this is called Call Jiu-Jitsu. They about to knock each other out on the car, I assume. You feel me? I just heard about this. Somebody sent me this and was like, yo, check this out. So, we here. Let's see what this is about. This is going to be weird, I feel like. Michael? Three minutes, three minutes round. We got Q oh, Davidson and Raymond. Oh, right away, Felton okay, shows his experience there. Round. He reaches Raymond over with his left round. hand and blocks the Raymond. seat belt of Davidson. You can see here in the top left hand corner of your screen, reaches over, blocks the seat belt with his left hand, oh, frees himself with his right hand, thinking. and immediately just goes Wait, to what, smashing what Davidson, Davidson into Davidson the driver's doing? side door. <laughs> and right now you can see he's trying to slide his knee through for, for knee on belly or possibly well, even mount here. Doing? And Davidson, oh, he looks like he's got the driver's side seat belt here. He's trying to wrap that driver's side seat belt around the neck of Davidson. And Davidson, it's just, it's almost too late here. By the time he's figured out what's happening, he has got no, that seatbelt wrapped on? all the way around his throat. He's trying. First of all, did he just say he got the seatbelt wrapped around the man's throat? If they can, uh, we gonna cut that little part out. But like, wait, hold on. Like, what are they doing? Why is the seatbelt wrapped around that man's neck? defend but there's not a lot that can be done here he is in a bad situation and just like that Raymond Felton wins the first round with a seatbelt choke a seatbelt choke what? Davidson doesn't look happy but that's the name of the game and you can see here in the submission replay here uh, Felton right away gets to smashing and as soon as he sees the opportunity to grab that seatbelt bro bro is an assassin what? He had this seatbelt wrapped around brother neck like he was choking him. He no, grabs the seatbelt. You can see right crazy. here, he's already starting to push it across the back of the neck of Davidson. As you can see here, it's already around the neck of Davidson. There's nowhere to go. It's just a bad, bad situation. Fantastic job. Good job, Ray. Right, so who All right, we switch seats right? here for round two. Raymond on that, right? Okay, round two underway, and it looks like Ray gets the jump on Whoa. Davidson again. <laughs> All right, so Davidson is definitely not ready for this because Raymond is... Raymond would take him out. If he was caught jacking him, Davidson would lose horribly. Ray already all over Davidson. He Davidson's trying to get out of there. Okay. He's fighting hands, but that front headlock, that's the go-to for Raymond. That front headlock, he's threatening that guillotine, but there's not a lot of room to work inside the car. Okay, Davidson's making a little bit of space here for himself. He's laid down the passenger side seat, but in the process, he has gotten himself tangled up in the seat belt. So the seat belt is the worst enemy of Q Davidson in this match tonight. Felton's now trying to shove Davidson down into the floorboard. Davidson's resisting, but there's just not a lot of room to work here. Ray's got his right foot in the back seat, his left foot on the driver's seat. Davidson tries to push the, the action into the back seat, but again, the seat belt gets caught around his left arm and currently his left leg. We've got another guillotine attempt here into the front headlock. Ray's got... This is so crazy for Davidson, bro. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, what are you... Well, how are you in this position? How did you end up in this position? Like, y'all both sitting down in the seats... And you let him grab your seatbelt once again. Like, what, did you not see your own highlight clip? Did they not tell you I was going on? Because this is ridiculous. Now nah, look at him. He's sniffing shorts. He's sniffing sweatpants. It's embarrassing. You lifted down that seat so you could uh, sniff sweatpants, bro? Had a bit of experience inside the car. He knows exactly which submissions are applicable and which are not. Don't get it twisted. I don't know how to submit nobody. You feel me? You're getting a regular. You feel me? So, this is intense, but I'm just saying, like, you signed up for this. Davidson's just in a horrible, horrible position here. And at Karjitsu, it takes a submission to win the round. This is a two-round fight. And what that means, essentially, is that Davidson has a minute and 35 seconds to secure a submission on Felton, or he will lose the match. 90 seconds left in the match, and it now moves into the back seat. 
Okay, and for the first time in the match, it looks like Davidson does have a dominant position. If he can get his right knee down on the seat for a couple of seconds, he can score four points for Mount. But no, it doesn't look like Ray's going to let that happen. I think Ray would rather give up his back here, and that's what's happening. Davidson taking the back of Felton. He's wrapping up a rear naked choke. It doesn't look like he's got it here. It's just more of a bully headlock at this point. He's got one hook in, looking for that second hook. It doesn't look like there's going to be a finish here. Listen to these guys breathing. They're both absolutely exhausted, and it's almost 90 degrees inside the car. It is a miserable, miserable situation. Davidson realizing the seat, but oh, the safety lock. The safety lock stops Davidson. And it looks like Ray heard the safety lock and then grabbed the seatbelt himself. Oh, my. Davidson, 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 you lost again. Like, how you didn't been think of the seatbelt? He just choked you out with the seatbelt. Gosh. 27 seconds. It just doesn't look like it's going to happen for Q Davidson. But what a fantastic match. We got 20 seconds left. Davidson can try and secure something here, but he doesn't have much time to work. He's going to go back to that rear naked choke. It's all he's got. And, okay, he's going to smash. Looks like he's going to smash Raymond into the passenger floorboard, but I don't know if there's any time to finish. Yo, this is the most Let's listen in here. dumbest fight I didn't watch. Like, huh? he's got to be... Oh, we've got a tap. Wow. Tap? With one second left, Davidson rear naked wow. choke tap out over Raymond Felton. Wow. Let's take a look at the replay here. Unbelievable. Davidson absolutely earning that submission all the way down into the passenger seat floorboard. Looks like he's balancing on his own yeah, head, fiddling with this choke, second. and just in that final half second, tie game, tie game. We've got a tap out here. That brings us to one and one on the match. Now we're going to move into the back seat for the third round. All right, third round's begun. There's no break. The third round is a four-minute round. Raymond Felton won the first round with a seat belt choke. Q Davidson won the second round with a rear naked choke. And here we are in the back seat. Four minutes for one of these two competitors to submit the other one and win the match. If that does not happen, we will go immediately to sudden death. What? At this point, Raymond Felton is smashing. Did he just say sudden? What? Sudden what? I don't even know if we can say that word on YouTube. That's what I'm not saying it. But y'all heard him like, nah, he's wilding out. Like, so what you mean? They about to do what? They going to do what? Because this already don't make no sense. The, the other person just tried to choke him out with the seatbelt. So they both did try, but one of them succeeded. So what that mean? Davidson into the, the corner of the back seat. Davidson's trying yeah, to bridge. Right. He's almost pushed the back, Felton right. all the way through the closed sunroof. And instead he opts for a judo, judo toss. Q Davidson on top of Felton in the back seat. He's got knee on belly. That's going to be two points. Knee on belly, red, two points. Those are the first points of the match. Q Davidson now in a fantastic position on top of Felton in the back seat. And he's trying to fiddle with the seat belts again. Only this time he's going to that back seat belt. And it looks like the safety lock has screwed him again. Ray Felton reaches up and defends by grabbing the seat belt himself and now we've got a real struggle here davidson moving into mount looks like davidson's trying to score four points for mount here and he's got it all right q davidson with six points that'll go to the leaderboard for the season but right now davidson is trying to win the match he's got the seat belt and he's trying to wrap it around the neck of Raymond Felton, but Raymond is not having it. It's a very difficult position for Raymond. He's got two and a half minutes left on the clock. He has to survive. Davidson just doesn't have enough room to work here. He's looking to, to make some moves. He's looking for opportunities, but unfortunately there is just no room in the back. Okay, Davidson does have the, oh, Davidson's tangled up in the seatbelt here. Felton with a slick little move there. Wrapping that seatbelt around the right arm of Davidson. 
You can hear these two athletes breathing. This is it. They are miserable and absolutely exhausted. Davidson pushes the passenger seat nah, forward, and now he's got the seatbelt all the way around the neck of Ray Felt, and he's got the seatbelt on the right Go side. On. He's going to reach Go under on. now with his right hand. Look at here. He's going to reach under, and he's going to grab the seatbelt and pull it behind the head of Felton, pushing with his left hand nah, and using bro. his right forearm. And there you have it. It's an Ezekiel <laughs> seatbelt by Davidson to win the match. Wow. Unbelievable struggle there. Oh, Almost looked like we were like watching a crime. Some Raymond Felton, fantastic fight. Q oh, Davidson, what a great, great come from behind win. Let's take a look at the replay here. Again, Quentin Davidson, Q Davidson, reaching from behind, underneath the neck, grabbing the seatbelt, pulling it through. Using his right forearm to apply pressure, pushing with his left hand. And that right there is what a murder looks like, friends. Wow, what? great job, this Q Davis. Murder, like, yeah, oh, man, I'm here with Q, who just overcame all the odds and pulled it. You hit, he submitted you with that seatbelt, obviously knew what he was doing, and you didn't want to tap, too. Like, he had that, of course, oh, wow, so. yeah, I thought you were gonna he pass did. out. That was sorry, no, you go ahead. Oh, yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah, he jumped on it and immediately got control of the seatbelt. He knew that he had enough space to get my head in. And he did it, yeah. right? That's that's what experience does for you, man. Absolutely. For sure, absolutely. absolutely. You can tell the difference. And then, and then that second round, I think you did what Gurky did. You lowered that seat to, to uh, switch your position. Yep. You got on top here. And then you went for the seat belt, and it had that little safety feature where it got locked. Yeah, I went on both sides. Oh, really? It locked me out on both sides. <laughs> yep, but you just kept going. You went for that rear naked choke. And you know, you know how much time was left in that second round? It, can't have, it shit couldn't have been more than... 20 seconds one second brother what one second literally one second hey so that's awesome i'm so yeah, happy yeah. that we went all the way yeah without having to have a decision yeah that's it was, wonderful that's good and i can tell you were still going for the set so was he credit to him absolutely even though he had the submission he could have just stalled the rest of, he didn't he was going hard oh yeah you were going hard that's that last round you could just maybe um stall it out after you got yeah. that belt. you didn't to, you yeah yeah to be honest with you as soon as i got as soon as i got mount i was like okay I've got him in a really good spot. He's bowled up against the wall. And then I... You know what? Why is he talking like he like a uh, MVP in this sport? Like, bro, this sport was just created. Like, how are you even telling him he should have did this? Like, bro, are you in the car fighting with him? And have you even gotten... How are you even the judge? Who made this game? Who made the rules? Hey, I thought about this earlier. Slide that seat forward. Open up space, open up opportunities. And so, what did he tap out from? Because I couldn't see. It was actually the, the same thing he got me with, which is that um, loop choke or adjusted Ezekiel, whatever you want to call it. Uh -huh. but using with the, the seatbelt? Correct, yeah. Right on. Yeah, I had to get payback. You, you adapted Just kidding, quick. Raymond. I'm kidding. <laughs> you adapted quickly. A lot of respect, though, huh? Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Well, Q Davidson, congratulations. Let's go on to the next one. Thank you. Man, shout out to both fighters, man. That that was a little weird. I never saw something like that. That's a little creepy. Like I said, that's not a good guy. That's where I think should be. Um, I don't know. I, don't, I ain't feeling it. But shout out to both fighters, man. They should stick to their main martial arts, not this car stuff. We shouldn't be doing this in cars. No cap.